Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well today. I was actually just down here on the ground playing with Pepper's Italics My Kitty and it occurred to me that this is a video I definitely wanted to include in my holiday series. Every time it gets around the holidays, I always think about pets. I know that a lot of people have beloved pets, whether they're family, considered family members or maybe you know somebody who has a pet who is a part of their family or maybe you just want to help out your local shelters. Um, there are so many things that you can do and you may not even realize how inexpensive it can be. Some of the things I'm going to show you are like $5 or less. Some things you already have laying around your house and maybe you don't use them anymore or you are considering, you know, just throwing them away. So hopefully you guys enjoy seeing some things that you can do to make a difference because sometimes it just takes one small step and you can make such a big world of difference in the lives of pets. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I like to prepare little goodie bags or gift bags for the pets. Um, what I'll do is I'll grab multi-packs at the store. It doesn't have to be that expensive. You'll need some of these little, oh my goodness, peppers. Some of these little kind of goodie bags, um, they're the little clear cellophane goodie bags and it makes it really colorful and pretty. And you will need some sort of holiday ribbons like this and also scissors and tags if you want to do custom tags and of course you'll need something to write with. We are going to start with a cat themed one because of course Peppers is right there. So I'll just open it up and I'll kind of do like a mix. I'll take maybe one from each type. I'll take some kitty treats and I'll sprinkle a few in another one of these little bags like this. Put a little twist tie on it to secure the treats and then you'll take your scissors and you'll just trim the little baggies to size. Now you can also get like smaller Ziploc bags I guess if you wanted to but then you have kind of like a little pouch of assorted kitty treats and then you'll just pop it into the bag. You've only spent a couple of dollars and you've just made somebody's day who maybe has a pet. If you have the time or the you know the Humane Society or something is nearby you can make several of these little pouches and drop them by in a pretty Christmas basket and donate those to your local shelter that way all of the kitties in the shelter they can split these treats and these toys and really have something to enjoy over the holidays since they're going to be stuck in their shelters without families. Yes sir! I know you smell of these goodies, don't you? Same principle, you just grab a couple of dog themed treats and you can put them into a bag. You can put labels on it and you can give them to your friends that have pets in their life. So that's just a sample of a cute little doggy bag. I found the cutest little um, kind of squeaky toy. And I'm going to give this to Sammy as part of a stocking stuffer. They have the cutest little toys um, in the Dollar Tree. You'll have to check out the pet section. For Peppers, I actually saw these at um, Marshall's as well. But they had them at the Dollar Tree. And it's just the cutest little sort of um, mouse. It doesn't squeak or anything. It rattles. And uh, that is going to go in Peppers' stocking. I just stuck the little news toy into Sammy's little stocking. And then this one is Peppers' italic stocking. It's really cute and glittery. It has pom-pom balls on it and I found this one at Target and I bought this one at Walmart. So I actually got a really large box and I'll go ahead and open it up and show you what I'm taking to the shelter along with a couple of the goodie bags that I showed you inside. I stopped by my local Walmart and picked up a really inexpensive litter box. A friend of mine is actually a newspaper vendor and he kind of gives me some papers here and there so I can take them to the shelter but you can also recycle your own newspapers. They will definitely use them and they will use them to line the shelters of the pets in the, the actual facility. Another thing that you can do is go around your house and get any towels that maybe are stained or they're old and you're getting rid of them. Maybe you use them as hair dye towels and you no longer use them. Maybe they are old beach towels and they have holes. But the, the shelters will actually take these and they'll you know wash them and sanitize them and they will use them when they bathe the pets. Some of the other shelters that I know will actually take these towels and they'll trim them down and they'll actually use them to line the pet crates. And another thing that they'll do too often is if a pet is sick or not feeling well, they'll actually include a towel in their actual crate so maybe they feel a little more comfortable or cozy or give them something that they feel like they can snuggle with. So that is something that is another really neat idea to take to your local shelters. I've actually chosen our county shelter and I really like to try to support our local county shelter. Even though it's kind of on the outskirts of town, it's a little less known as some of the more prominent shelters. I really find that they do a really great job with the animals. They keep everything as clean as they possibly can. And I really agree with their mission statement to try to save as many animals as they possibly can. Look at you, what a sweetheart. Oh, what a sweet baby. Hi, pretty kitty. Hi. How are you? What a sweet baby. What a sweet baby. Hi, cutie. Hi, how are you? How are you? Hi. 
I like them all. Sweetheart. We had a great time visiting our local shelter and as you can see there are such sweet animals in there that just need loving homes and they are so 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 grateful for human interaction and attention. For the next little project we're going to be making some cute little paw print ornaments and for that you'll need a couple of Christmas colored paints. I recommend washable paints. You'll need a couple of little trays to put the paint in or even paper plates if you want to do something disposable. You'll need a little kind of Tupperware with sudsy water that way you can help wash the paws easier because if your pets are anything like mine they won't go near a faucet. You'll need some stencils to help cut out your ornament shapes. You'll need scissors. You'll need some cardstock. This is going to be thicker paper. These are some Christmas colored ones. And you'll also maybe want to do some glitter if you want to do decorations. You'll need a pencil for tracing your stencils and you'll also need a marker. If you're, or you can even use a paint pen if you plan on writing on the back of the ornament the pet's name and the year it is. And then you'll also need some type of clean work surface. It's best to actually do as much prep work as possible before you actually bring the pets into the picture because as we all know, it's going to take a little bit of patience and cooperation on behalf of the pets in order to get this done. So you'll want to start out by tracing your stencils onto your cardstock paper and then you're going to want to cut it out. I found the easiest thing to do is to actually take the paint on your own hands and place it onto their paws. Now that don't lick it. You can't lick it, buddy. It's entirely possible that you'll get messy with this. I never said this was a clean project, but it's definitely something cute whenever it's finished. And you'll just want to wash off your hand really quickly. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. You can actually pick the paper up or you can stamp the pet's foot down. It just depends on what the pet will do for you because they don't always cooperate. So you're just going to want to take the paw and you're going to press it down onto the paper. We got a good paw print and I'm just going to set that to the side. I'm going to grab my little bowl of soapy water and I'm just going to put the pet's paw in there, shake it around a little bit so I can clean it off. And then I'm just going to dry it off. I have cut down the little cardstock and I've sort of made a little ornament out of it. I made a couple of different layers and I'm just gluing this down to the center. I'm going to choose another cardstock and then I'm going to cut a frame to put over it just to cover all of the raw edges. Now I'm just taking some glue and I'm just tracing the basic shape that I see in the paw and I'm just going to accent it with a little bit of glitter. Knock off any excess glitter onto a empty piece of cardstock so you can reuse it later and you don't waste it. Once your ornament is a little bit dry, you can just take it. If you did a 3D one kind of like I did, I'm just going to fold the little edges up like this. And that way it just kind of makes it three dimensional. You can see how cute that is. And I'm actually just going to take some of this curly Q thread and I'm going to make a little fluffy hanger for it. So we'll be able to hang it on the tree and it'll look just like this. So that is kind of how the finished product looks. I think that's something really cute. Maybe if you have children, you can do that with children. Or maybe if you have your own pet and you'd like to make your own special ornament for the tree, you could definitely do something like this. And you can see it turns out really super cute. As you can see, there are a lot of little ways to make a really big difference, whether it's donating your time or taking donations to your local shelter, or it's taking time out with your own pets to make little personalized mementos that you'll have for many years to come, or it's taking the time to make gifts for friends who maybe have pets as members of their family. I just hope that this video has helped inspire you in some way and helps you to understand that there are pets out there that need love too, and there are pets out there that you can just bless in different ways. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!